Hey y'all, welcome back to the Ran Around Show. Today we have Britton Wilson. Look at her lead. She broke her own collegiate record. Hi. Today we're gonna talk to her about her accomplishments. You're one of the most accomplished Razorback athletes Thanks. in history. <laughs> um, your goals and the upcoming national championship in Austin. Cool. Let's go. Right. We're, at, we're here at the track. Probably one of the best tracks in the country. You've raced at a lot of them. Yeah. You wanna, you wanna race real quick? All right. You wanna do a little? Yeah. All right, let's line up, let's line up. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do a three-point stand. A three-point stand? Just down. All right, lift up your other arm. Right here. Go. She's a runner, she's a track star. She gonna run away when it gets hard. She can't take the pain, she can't get scarred. We love slams. We but... love slams. Like, unreal that I'm considered an icon to some people, because it's like, I'm really just out here, like, trying my best. You're an SEC champion, you're a national champion, and you're a world champion. <laughs> yes. Not many people can say that. <laughs> I've never been on in a bar before. <laughs> Look who we ran into. Yeah, what's happening? How y'all doing? <laughs> Can you give us a little preview of the national championship? Well, I gotta go. They just let me know that I could pick up my Mercedes. He know what's up. Everywhere I go. We're off. <laughs> Well, I appreciate you coming on. Yeah. I'm, I'm honored. I know you're heading to the national championship in a few days. Yes, I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm literally to, days. Glad to catch you. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, for context of the audience, you know, your main event is the 400 hurdles, right? Yes. And then like your secondaries are the 400 sprints and mm -hmm. the four by four relay. Yep. And 400 is one lap around the track. Yes. <laughs> like explain to them. Yeah, so, give them all the breakdown. What would you say your favorite event out of those is? Everyone is curious, like, yeah. are you a hurdler or are you a flat 400 runner? And um, I don't know, I can't choose a favorite. I really like them both. And I, I like that I'm like good at both of them, so I'm able to like pick and choose at meets or yeah. do both. So I want to start by listing some of your achievements. Okay. Even going back to high school, you were a 10-time Virginia state champion. Yes. From high school, that's pretty crazy. So you're accomplished coming into college, but in college, you're an SEC champion, you're a national champion, and you're a world champion. <laughs> yes. Not many people can say that. I think, that's, <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. You were a Bowerman semifinalist, which Bowerman yes. is like the highest award you can win in the in track, track sport. Yeah. yeah only one woman and one man get it in the whole country yeah. yeah we like to like when my mom explains it she compares it to like the heisman but for track i like that yeah there's like eight more on here i'm like <laughs> you're like this is what i said at the start i'm like you're one of the most accomplished players you're Thank an sec you. gold medalist for outdoor sec gold medalist for indoor sec women's of the year you just got that award yes, yeah. that's pretty cool um Very and then cool. national outdoor gold medalist national indoor like and then you won Gold. So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you set you set a record or win something every every meet you go to. I try, I try. Just you know, go out there, leave it all on the track. And she is making the move on the back stretch. She's got to pass here if she's going to have a chance, and she does it cleanly. And it's going to be Britton Wilson win this section. Now, does she run fast enough to win the title? Oh my goodness! 49, 48 officially, and she becomes the first collegiate. Woman to break 50 seconds, she obliterates the collegiate and American record. Let me open the center for this. Yeah, I get the good lighting. We got. Ooh. <laughs> and oh, we got the championship rings. Can I take it out? NCAA rings on. Oh, yeah. Two national championships. Yes, but well, we actually already. have more coming. I... Yeah, you just won that. Indoor? Yeah, indoor. That was the national championship, collegiate record, and American record. That indoor meet. This is when I was listening to all her achievements and I was like, SEC champ, all those champs. She gets like a ring or a medal for every one of those championships. Yeah, like, literally. Like, yeah. So they have to all come in at once eventually. That's crazy. Can you give us a little preview of the national championship coming up? I am looking forward to it. I really am. I'm doing the double. And I um, if I win, I'll be the first collegiate athlete in history to do it at NCAAs. So. A double. So that means you're doing the 400 and the 400 hurdles. Both. I, when I when I googled you, there was like videos being posted, like multiple videos being posted within the 24 hours of this interview. Like, oh, wow. Britton Wilson's gonna do the impossible <laughs> the double. double. <laughs> yeah. Because you're you're doing both of those events mm -hmm. within with only one event between. Yes. Yeah. That's... One final. I think it's an 800. So there's about like maybe like 25 minutes in between, which is and it's gonna be intense. But <laughs> I think I got it. it. You said there's nobody in history that's ever done that. No so. collegiate athlete has done it before. Wow. The baseball game, the 
the tournament is going on right now. Yeah, look at all these people. Slim Chickens. They actually had me out here handing out Slim Chickens gift cards and doing like street interviews. Oh. Under an hour ago, I left I left the game to come do this and it's packed. Yeah, that is a lot of people. That's... Shout out Slims, again. <laughs> Slims is on. Slims is on it today. Let's actually go to the Slims drive-thru right now. Okay, bet. Because I'm hungry. I am hungry too. Okay, bet. We are coming for you, Slims. So yeah, while we're on that topic, <laughs> NIL, you're talking about buying, maybe looking at buying a Benz, uh, NIL is now legal. You're a Slims yes. athlete. Yeah, I was um, just last summer, really, was when it ended. Because yeah. um, we did like a full year contract with them. It was very fun. Me and Aiden were both on it, and both on the track team. Um, we had all these different like community service opportunities and like all these um, different events around town and just being able to like rep Slims and like bring food, hand out food to people, go to these events. It was a lot of fun. That's cool. And Slims is sponsoring Britain and Aiden's episode. They still are loyal to y'all. Yes. I brought it to them and they're like, that'll be so fun. And Shout out they, to Slims. Yeah, we love Slims. We but love Slims. When you hear listing all the listings of all those stats, do you, does it make you feel overwhelmed or are you just kind of like, <laughs> there's more to come or like, what's your mindset um, on that? A little bit of both. Sometimes I get like kind of shy because it's like, I don't know, it's like, it's cool, but it makes me feel like, oh my gosh, like they're talking about me. <laughs> but it definitely is, it um, motivates me for sure. Especially when I hear stuff like, oh, she's like fourth on the all time list. Like to me, I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I want to be first little, so like it kind of motivates me yeah like that Kobe Mamba mentality a mm -hmm, little bit absolutely this will be airing during the championship so yay shout out all the fans watching yeah you guys watch watch this episode and then head to ESPN right she said this was number one guys like, yeah yeah this comes first <laughs> then watch the race do you know what you could run miles per hour oh my gosh have you no, ever tested that I do not you should run as fast as the car in a school zone you could run as fast as a car zone, in a school yeah. zone <laughs> definitely <laughs> Shoot, Let's I'm beating the car. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hop into the Instagram Q&A from Ooh. the poll we did on Instagram. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad there's no line. Perfect. That's perfect. Yay! How do you handle being such an icon in the track world? It's sometimes it feels like unreal that I'm considered an icon to some people because it's like, I'm really just out here like trying my best, you know? Yeah. But it's cool to like be able to inspire somebody else. Like the fact that some people will like message me and be like oh my gosh you're my idol I'm like what little old me <laughs> like it's amazing to have that feeling so I don't I don't know how I handle it I'm just here <laughs> going through Congrats slim this. chickens <laughs> okay we can order whatever we can get a few things really you can take it home okay period. Slim's is, Slim's is, <laughs> Slim's is. with us yeah we're here with Mr. Slim <laughs> with Mr. Slim himself can I do the um chicks meal the three tenders the raspberry lemonade Raspberry lemonade, anything else? Yeah. Okay. Smoky cheddar wrap meal. Smoky cheddar wrap meal. Can, I do, cheddar wrap can I do a strawberry shake with it? And did you want a drink carrier today? Yes. yes. Uh, How yeah. many did we get? Yes. Four, yes, yeah. Four drinks. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh, y'all are quick. That yeah, actually. thank you, you You're too. Welcome. Slim chickens. I always am like super happy when I get food. I do too. I be doing a little dancey dance. What's your fastest time in any 400 event? Um, 49.1. So, so that means you went around the whole track in 49 seconds. Yes. That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I um. I want to go faster, so yeah, of course. that is the goal this at NC's to, to break another record. Break, no, break your record. <laughs> break my record, yeah. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Um, what's been your favorite race back highlight? SEC's outdoor last year because that was the first time I tried to double at like a big championship meet mm -hmm. and then I won, so I was the, actually the first collegiate athlete to do it at SEC's. The chase, Britton Wilson is going to be Britton Wilson going to beat the collegiate leader in the 400. She is the collegiate leader in the hurdles, which we will see her in a little bit later. So I think was... both of your times in both those events still are the record, right? Was it that or national? No, that was nationals, okay. indoor nationals. Yeah. yeah, both of your times are still yeah. the record. <laughs> but yeah, that moment was special to me, though, because it, it kind of felt like a breakthrough moment. And it was my first like time actually like meddling at outdoor SECs. So it was very exciting. My coach was really proud of me. 
you were at Tennessee before you came here, and I, I kind of, in my research, it seemed like you were kind of in a slump, and then you exploded, and it's been just like a success story since you transferred. Yeah, absolutely. It was very much a combination of, one, just needing change, mm -hmm. and then two, um, finding the right program for me. Coach Johnson and the way he trains us was definitely what I needed, and his training plan was a lot more similar to what I did in high school. And when you were winning when the I was, national championship. Yeah, when, when I was running really well in high school, so, um, I definitely could see that difference when I came back to when I came to Arkansas I was like okay this reminds me of my high school training like maybe this is what I needed and obviously it was what I needed yeah Yay. yeah we got an exclusive right here look who we ran into yeah, it's happening. How doing? <laughs> coach Johnson the man the myth the legend we were just talking about you yeah hopefully good things yeah, yeah good things. you helped her improve she said this was the program she needed so well I, I think that yeah we were fortunate she was fortunate Everything kind of happened organically mm -hmm. the right way. So, um, obviously, we'd love to have her from high school, but I think <laughs> this way was probably the best way. So, well, I'm glad to kind of creep in on you guys. Yeah, we appreciate the exclusive. Right around. Yes, the exclusive. You guys take care, man, and keep riding. We appreciate it. <laughs> we appreciate it. I know that your dad was a basketball player, right? Yes, yeah. I don't think a lot of people know this. My mom and my dad were both athletic, and my siblings were all athletic, so we're a pretty athletic family. But um, my dad played college basketball at Virginia Commonwealth University, so VCU, and he was on their team that made it to the Final Four, and then he played semi-pro in Russia. What are some of your passions outside of track? Singing, Singing <laughs> music, and... Dixon, where is it? Why am I so lost? Oh, straight. I thought you were saying Dixon was your passion. No, <laughs> Dixon is my passion. <laughs> oh my gosh, Coach Johnson would beat me up if I said that. <laughs> you said singing, music, and Dixon. And Dixon Street. <laughs> singing, music, and makeup. Would you like, hate if I mentioned you have your makeup bag in the back? <laughs> no, my clunky giant makeup bag. Yes. I love, I, I love makeup. If I like, am on YouTube, the first thing I'm going to pull up is either like a makeup tutorial the Ryan Around Show. <laughs> or the, the Ryan Around, around Show. show. <laughs> and I play the guitar and the piano. Oh. Yeah. Celia is professional for ASICs. She said, How do you balance your mental health on and off the track? <sighs> that took a lot of work for me, just um, a lot of practice because I'm a fairly anxious person in general. But like in high school and like my first few years of college track, my pre race anxiety was just terrible, like to the point of tears before a race. So it took a lot of work to actually like, you know, like work on that for myself and become better. So I've managed the stress of it all just by journaling, praying, meditating. I've just taken a lot of time to like really work on my mental, especially because I was in such a down bad spot yeah. <laughs> two years ago. So definitely like mental health is very important to me and just like taking care of myself, like self care. Especially in a sport that comes down to milliseconds. Milliseconds, like, and the day too. Like I was just telling someone it's like, you could be like the world record holder, but if you have one bad race at US Trials, you don't go to Team USA. Like, it doesn't matter how good you are. Like, you have to do it on that day. Like, it's just unforgiving. Like, so yeah. Like, I know you did it last week, fun. but you didn't do yeah, it Yeah, like, we know you're fast, but if you don't do it at this meet on this day, you're not on Team USA. Oh, this is that place. Oh, you Busy. really don't come out to Dixon. Oh, no. I've never been here. I've never been on, in a bar before. <laughs> never. How old are you? But someone, 22. I just never been. <laughs> she's a runner, she's a track star. So at this level, how do you train and how do you decide what events you compete at? Is it kind of self-governed or does mm -hmm. your coaches still kind of have a say in that? Because at this definitely. point, you're messing with your own career. Yeah, yeah, so. like literally my job. Yeah. <laughs> um, definitely a little bit of both. Uh, my coach is very understanding and he, he listens to what I want and need, mm -hmm. but I also trust him and I trust the process that he has for me and the training that he has for me. So it's, it's definitely like, like yeah, like yeah, hand in hand. It's definitely like 50% both of us. You know who gave us mock 10 was Britton Wilson. Look at her lead in the SEC Outdoor Track and Field Championships, the 400 meter final. She broke her own collegiate record. You made Sports Center top 10. Yeah, that was so crazy. Oh my gosh. I didn't believe it. My dad had texted me and then he sent me a video and I was like, oh my gosh. That's very cool. I've never. Like what? That's so cool. <laughs> like I'm on Sports Center. That's so crazy to say. What are your goals? I'm assuming 2024 Olympics are in there. Yes, absolutely. Those? Big goal is yeah to go pros, but that is happening. So that's crazy that's that that is like. It's obviously been a dream of mine, so it's crazy that that's like actually in the works now. 
Um, but yeah, after that, hopefully have a great professional debut career and make the 2024, 2024 Olympic team. It's crazy too, cause it's like, I'll be going pro while it's an Olympic year. Yeah. So that's Only really every exciting. Every four years? Yeah. I mean, you're just right in the... Right on time. As it pertains to this year, hopefully get that record outdoors. Pretty Chasing good. the American record. Do the double. And Do the double. Wow. Make some history. Hey, I'm honored <laughs> to have you on. I think Aww. we can close up there. We got to learn okay. about you. We can close with a song. Yes. Wake up in my bed. I just want to have a good day. Then I ride to the studio. Listen in. Wait, wait, wait. Pause the song. Pause the song. <laughs> All, are y'all hearing her? Are you hearing Miss Ariana? Keep my conscience clear. That's why I'm so magnetic. Are you this hearing is the lady? This is a manifestation song. Mm -hmm. Okay, period. Play it. Run it back. 